Well, hello, Crime Stuppers. <laughs> it's dark. I've been trying to make a video. I've been trying to make videos for a long time. No, they didn't get me. That's the most ridiculous. If they actually do come after me, and I got my videos, like I think my most popular video is like a 10,000 views maybe, I think that was a fluke, uh, then yeah, it's pretty damn dark. Uh, really? Anyway, so we've got this uh, fairly obvious to some and not so obvious to others false flag going on in Boston. And come and search my house, sure, you don't need a warrant, come and search, right? Looks like the false flag fell apart. They were holding drills, there's no question. I was reading Facebook and reading a couple other things of people that were talking about these things. It wasn't just one report from one source. It wasn't just from Alex Jones. People, I mean, Rad Chick Radio, other people were piping in, but they were having a hard time piping in because they shut down cell service. So they couldn't be on their phone. Yeah, there was drills going on. Yeah, there were bomb sniffing dogs. Yeah, there were, right? Anyway, and this is the modus operandi every time, right? They do a drill for what they're gonna do on the same day at the same place that they were gonna do it. And then we got these guys and, you know, the, the Blackwater guys. Blackwater guys blow up shit in Iraq and been caught red-handed blowing shit up over there and shooting civilians. But they would never do that in the United States, now would they? And why would they wear uniforms? Well, they're in uniforms, they're holding drills, and uh, kaboom. And you guys, there are still people that just don't get it. There are still people that watch the mainstream media and they just can't, right? This thing, and then now I think Plan B was, we'll blame these two guys. And it looks like, to me, if you watch the news and you say, they, look, they, they were guilty of sin, they were shooting back. Oh my God, they were shooting back. <laughs> right? <laughs> the guy, anyway, thing's crazy. Here's a little piece of information, because the two the distractions, Boston's a good distraction, and of course, West Texas, that's a good distraction. But just so, I just read an article, it just was like, hmm, because I was perusing other news, that says, oh, by the way, this company had been involved in a major lawsuit with Monsanto. And then their chemical plant, their fertilizer plant just happens to blow up. I don't know. I don't know anything about, I don't, they just call kind of conspiracy theories about that one, missiles coming in or something. I don't, I don't, it looks like a fertilizer plant blew up. Now, was it arson? Did they set that? Did it, I mean, I don't know. Don't know. Anyhow, uh, but they sure are great distractions while CISPA goes through. And while, and try to stay here because I'm going to put a whole bunch of things together and you'll see that, you know, as usual, it looks disparate, but it all goes together. Anyway, so then they push CISPA through. It's not done yet. The Senate still has it, right? But it's good. it looks like uh, that's going to happen. And then, you know, if we, and the, you'll even see articles that say that, oh, we need to, you know, that privacy is out the window because we've got to do something about, you know, we obviously haven't done enough if we've got things like Sandy Hook going on and we didn't see the Boston thing coming and so on and so forth, right? So they need even more to be able to look in your emails and be able to look tweet, you know, look through anything that you, your privacy out the window. Anything digital, they can look through it uh, with no warrants, no anything. They just do what the hell they want, basically, is what, the, what that thing boils down to. I mean, take a look at the privacy concerns that some of the internet groups have with CISPA. Um, anyhow, while this all is going on, we have gold and silver plummeting in price, and like the U.S. Mint selling more gold and silver, or like I think silver, a, a, a hundred years worth of silver in one day, and like twenty years worth of silver or gold in one day. Um, I mean, just tons of it flying out there, physical, not, not paper, but actual physical. Why would they do this? I think people are concerned. People might be concerned that the, the paper money is going to be no good. I had a lot of bills, but I spent it, um, because I, I got paid and a whole bunch of small bills. And you look at all those funny f pieces of paper and man, in that, in that pile of bills, there was the new bills that have the frame that don't have the frame around it. And then the, the one, you know what I mean? Like the color one, the green ones, and then the colored ones, and then the, and then I had a couple in there that were the old ones. Remember the old money that had the little frame and so forth around the bill? You know what I'm talking about? All of that in one pack of money. They're printing it like it's going out of style. And soon it's going to become worthless. Anyway, gold and silver. That's something you might want to be paying attention to while this whole Boston thing's going on and while the whole thing down there in West Texas is going on. And then, oh, and I want to talk about this very quickly, the priming concept. Toast. Spell toast. Remember this? These are old jokes when we were kids. Yeah, right? Spell toast. Say toast. Say, and then you say, what do you put in a, in a toaster? And people will say toast. No, you put bread in a toaster, not toast. That's priming. I primed you. We do, they, right? Spell stop. Say stop. And you say stop five times. And then, you know, remember that? And then spell stop. S-T-O-P and so forth. What do you do when you get to a green light? Stop. That's because you've been primed. Okay. They're not priming you and me. They don't care about you and me. They don't give a fuck about you and me. You and me, we're just regular guys, right? And like I said, I'm preaching the choir here anyway. And they don't have to get all 300 million of us. They just have to get a few of us. Which few? The guys in government, 
right? The guys in Capitol Hill, your legislatures, your state legislatures, your 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 the federal government, those guys, they prime those guys. Well, you got to do something. CISPA gets through. Oh, you got to do something. The, you know, gun control and so forth. Oh, the gun control thing fell apart though. But don't worry, Obama will come back with the. You know, and now we've got this whole thing. Never mind everything I just talked about. Torture. Turns out, oh yes, they did torture. In your name, in your name, and in my name. Not just enemy combatants, not men with guns, women and children, tortured. What's the penalty for torturing? Death is still the penalty for torture. We have put people to death in Cheney's lifetime. I wasn't alive back then, but these in World War II, these people that were uh, convicted of again, crimes against humanity, these Japanese torturers and these Nazi torturers, we put them to death. Now, our government is accused and being indicted of committing torture. It's been happening in the world courts, but we got the biggest stick, so nobody else can do anything about it, do anything about it, right? But see, while we're talking about Boston and we're talking about and all the news, right? Torture. Now, we were supposed to get these guys after the Hope and Changey guy came in, Mr. Hopey Changey Pants came in, but he stopped us from going after and trying to hold accountable the members of the Bush administration that were responsible for this torture. Crimes against humanity. Now, this is a much bigger issue, in my humble opinion, than any of this other shit that's going on. Now, that false flag, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a big deal. But torture. Oh, good distraction. Now, uh, the last thing. Let's, let's talk about A4V, and let's talk about, you want to wake up some of your friends? Search uh, three cent letter, sovereign letter, or mailing a letter for three cents. Just put that in the search box in the, here on YouTube. And then when you send that letter without a zip code and with the, na the state's name spelled out, put a little letter in there that says, hey, you know this whole thing about in them sonas and uh, Capitus Demucio Maxima? Seems to be a real deal here, and the UCC and blah, blah, blah. You might just put a little information in there. And you know what your friends are going to do? throw it over their shoulder and pretend like it, they never got that letter. Although some of them might go, hmm. Because see, the federal zone, how they get you in the federal zone, you see, here's the deal. That This whole thing about Restore the Republic is a little bit bigger than some of you uh, might imagine. Because the government of the United States is a corporation. There I said it out loud. It's a corporation. They contract with this other corporation called the Federal Reserve. That prints the money for that corporation, the currency for us peons. Okay, because you know why they're so condescending to you when you talk about your rights and the constitutional? Because you are not a party to that. That constitutes that. That read your damn history. What happened during the Civil War? What happened in 1913? What happened in 1933? Uh, House Joint Resolution 192. Oh, here's another little piece of proof that you might put in that letter that you sent for three cents. Look up uh, USC 26, uh, 770126. Uh, and, and you can also look up trader business scam. And see, even people that are doing a trader business scam on the websites, they still don't get it. They still don't get the import of it. But trader business includes the execution of a public office. What public office is that? Well, that public office is U.S. person or the U.S. citizen. You know what? That U.S. citizen, that U.S. person, that shareholder in the corporation of the United States owes tax. <sighs> anyway... And some of you have figured out that you don't owe tax. So don't pay taxes that you don't owe. But taxes that you do owe, you should pay. And don't be coming up with some nonsense about, I don't like the word. I don't like Obama. So I'm not paying my taxes. Well, then you're going to go to jail. That's what's going to happen. But if you understand the law and you can read the law and then understand the UCC. And this is where I always get myself into trouble. That's why I haven't made a, try to make videos about the UCC every time. I just, all you're going to do is get yourself in trouble. Understand that that is a foreign language. It looks like English, but it's not. But the language of commerce and language of law, if you want to learn that, it's going to take you a while, just like learning French or Spanish and so forth. And then you wind up with people that get a little bit of knowledge and they wind up doing stupid stuff like walking in the court and dishonoring themselves and other, right? Grandma told me when a woman approaches the table, stand up. When she leaves the table, stand up. Men, stand up when you shake hands and you look the other man in the eye when you shake hands. When a judge enters the room, you stand up. Now, afterwards, you may rebut the presumptions that they make about you being the same thing as that all caps name, and you need to understand, you know, the concept of, you know, common law court, equity court, maritime court, admiralty court. Yeah, that's the, that's the one. Okay, but that's UCC, and the UCC is for your benefit. It's so that corporations and nations and everybody can do commerce under a uniform code. 
it is to your detriment if you don't understand the code. If you don't understand the uniform commercial code, it can be used to enslave and entrap you. But if you understand it, it will set you free. Most people, they get like 10% of the knowledge and they think they're, no, you, you're going to need to know a lot more than, and if you start fooling around and trying to convert non-negotiable instruments into negotiable instruments, you're going to get a lot of, and they love it. They love it because they'll put you in prison. Three strikes and you're out. It's like, it's like forging a check. Right? They will put you, and then they got you in that system and you're, and yeah, that's over. Anyway, but the, but the point being is that the whole A4V thing and the whole caps, all caps letter, oh yeah, it, it's starting to, you know, it all, right? And then what winds up happening is they enslave you further. Jim Crow is alive and well. And see, it's not just blacks anymore, right? We all oh, niggas now. I said this before. People hate it. You want to you hide knowledge from a nigga? Put that information in a book. Put the book in a library. There's no excuse now. You got the internet. You can get all this information basically for free. UCC is copyrighted, though. So you might, you might <laughs> and there's another clue. You might need to do uh, spend a little bit of money there. But uh, you can get books on the UCC and you can educate yourself about that. Okay, and what you need to do is educate, educate, educate. Because once you get educated, because what's about to happen is the old system is failing and they're going to offer you, here, have this new system. Look, the pretty paper. Look, we changed the ink. We changed the color. The denominations domin and stuff is different. And it's, but it's going to be the old system just with the new system. It's going to be the same. What we need to do is replace this old system, this U.S. corporation and that Federal Reserve and that IRS with a different system, sound money, right? And understanding how this nation came to prosperity. So you need to read your history, not the shit they taught you in high school. Read what happened after the Civil War. And again, what happened in 1913 and 1933 and what, I mean, there is no money. It's only debt. And that stuff about cuss-up numbers and birth certificate registration and all that stuff, it's not BS. And like I said, that three cent stamp should make give you a big clue. But it's going to take you a long time, and we're going to have to figure out what, if we want to restore this republic. There's going to be a lot of education because they can't. It can't just be five percent of us or a few. You know, it's got. They, I mean, it's got to be a lot of people that understand, so that we can offer a better system, a system that brought this nation to prosperity, sound money, not fiat currency, right? Because, like I said, that priming thing. All they got to do is get the the, the federal government, the legislature, those guys to, to uh, think that they need to do something like CISPA or gun control or whatever the hell it is. Give them some money, a little bit of bribery, and uh, the bankers have usurped our country because we were getting a little too, too, too fancy pants, a little too big for our britches. So they had to come in and replace our government and our system with their system. Now that system is about to fall apart. And see, what's that song? Every other beginning is the end of some beginning. I can't remember how it goes. But anyway, the, the system is coming to an end. And the, it, but it's not the end. It's not the end of the world. It's the beginning of a new thing. The old system has to end before we can get the new one, right? Okay, is there going to be massive pain? I think there is. <laughs> I think there's going to be massive pain. But it doesn't have to be if more people would get educated. And we can make the pain briefer and shorter. Then, as opposed to you know lasting a thousand years and they'll, you know they're going back to the dark ages and not having electricity and nonsense. It's, this this stuff is still going to happen. We're still going to have this, but in, but there is going to be a disruption, and you need to be prepared for that. And you need to understand why it is that the gold, price of gold and silver is 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 falling, as I predicted. By the way, um, the idea is if you understand uh, some of the concepts that I've talked about, and you can educate others, uh, we can make change less painful because change is always painful whether it's good or bad it's the change is always painful like even people moving even if you move to a nicer house a better place moving is a pain in the ass i'm about to go through this and so i bring this but i mean i just talked to several people they had a they had a nice house they moved into a nicer house but oh the transition was is a pain okay we're about to move into a nicer house but <laughs> it's gonna be pain before we move get it you see what i'm saying here all right oh be of good cheer e pluribus unum I'm telling you, we're going to get through this thing. We're going to be smelling like roses. Take a look at what's going on. Alex Jones has some good stuff. Watch this one video where this guy talks about Jim Crow. I mean, it's, it's just great. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. I'll try to make more videos closer together. But like I said, I've been trying. It's just hard. It's hard to make these videos. I'm telling you. All right.